to others. I have been swimming since I was eight years old, and as I got older and saw success, swimming became one of the most important things in my life. Around the age of 13 or 14, my club coach at the time, Casey Charles, planted the seed in my mind that I could perhaps one day be an Olympian. With hard work and sacrifice, I was able to continue my swimming career at the University of Virginia. Last May of 2011, during my junior year, I began to experience pain in my lower back during practice. I tried to ignore it, but it became obvious that there was really something wrong. All of the tests came up negative for a fracture or herniated disc, yet I was still in pain. It hurt all the time, sleeping, standing, sitting, swimming. Everything made it hurt, and I didn't know why. I was only able to compete in two, two dual meets my junior year, and when it came time for ACC championships, I wasn't able to swim my signature event, the 200 freestyle. A second reading of the MRI that MRI showed that I did in fact have a fracture of a lumbar vertebra that had gone unnoticed months before. For an entire year, I had swung with a fractured vertebra, pushing myself through the pain and unknowingly making it worse. And now it was not going to heal. It began to look like my Olympic dream was out of reach. In February 2012, I was faced with the difficult decision to not compete in NCAAs and have surgery instead. On March 3rd, 2012, I underwent back surgery to remove the piece of bone that had broken off of the vertebra. Although the surgery was successful, it took five long weeks to get back into the pool again. It might not seem like five weeks is a long time, but in swimming, it is an eternity. It's not unusual for swimmers training for Olympic trials to not miss a single practice for an entire year, yet here I am two and a half months before trials and I've missed five weeks of practice. What I didn't know at the time was that God had an amazing plan for me. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, Paul says, Christ's grace is sufficient for us. He is made powerful in our weakness. In other words, the stage was set for me to fail, but God allowed me to succeed. As Olympic trials grew closer, I felt that God was not only asking me to train hard and be courageous in the midst of pain, but also to relinquish control in all areas of my life. I had to let go of things in my life that were getting in the way of my walk with God. As badly as I wanted to make the Olympics, I got to a place where I trusted God and his plan for me, whether that included the Olympics or not. I walked into Olympic trials completely and utterly at peace. When I got to Olympic trials in Omaha, Nebraska, and began my pre-meet warm-ups, I felt great. With each race, I felt faster and stronger. And on June 28, 2012, I touched the wall fourth, claiming my spot on the Olympic team. I cried, my family cried, my coach cried. Through that long year of injury and disappointment, I just couldn't see God's plan until that very moment. My favorite verse, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. But there's another verse in that passage that is just as significant to me. Verse 13 says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. It was only when I humbled myself before God and turned my whole heart over to him that he gave me strength and victory. I went on to participate in the London Olympics as a member of the 4x200 freestyle relay. I experienced the joy and pride of walking behind my country's flag at opening ceremonies and felt God's presence with me every step of the way. I don't know what you're facing personally, but I can tell you this. God has a plan for each and every one of us. At times, it's hard to imagine what that plan may be, or that he even cares. But I can tell you that he hears every single prayer. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 says, 
No one has ever imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. I encourage you to open your whole heart and share your dreams and worries with him. Thank you.